Okay. So we're here to develop the skill of Tai Chi Chuan. Now, all internal arts have similarities. They're all based, let's say, on cultivation of the Qi or the Shen and the Qi. But they're not the same. For example, the way you do it in Qigong or Neigong or Tai Chi or Bagua, they're all different. It's not the same thing. We're using the same components in a different way. And sometimes the kind of Qi you develop is different and so on. Now, what is it that makes Tai Chi what it is, is what we need to understand and develop. So I normally use the description of balance and harmony. Tai Chi Chuan is about developing balance and harmony. Balance means the understanding and the embodiment of yin and yang and more specifically the balance point between yin and yang. So if you look at the symbol which however it goes something like this right this line the s-shaped curved line is the balancing point between yin and yang. Now, we call that zhong ding, okay? Normally translated as something like central equilibrium and commonly misunderstood as being upright or your center line even worse, okay? It doesn't mean your center line, it doesn't mean being vertical and it doesn't mean being upright. It is the equalizing point, the central equalizing point between the opposing, harmonizing opposites of yin yang. So that's the balance part. Now, that has to be developed in the body, absolutely, and in the more subtle strata of your being. But if you have not achieved it in the body, you cannot achieve it in the other strata, certainly not in the Tai Chi way. Everything that we train, we're trying to cultivate the real, the tangible, and to move away from the imaginary and the delusional. There's nothing that we do which is some kind of mental fabrication that exists only in the mind sphere. We want to move away from the mind sphere towards embodiment, training consciousness, Chi, and body, not training your thoughts and imaginations and mental masturbations to be spiritual ones or Taoist ones or Buddhist ones or whatever. It's a moving away from that. So the balance at the level we're going to be working on primarily over this month is about yin yang in the body. Then we have harmony, balance and harmony. So harmony means to harmonize Shen E, Qi. That's the classic way to say it, to harmonize Shen, E, and Qi. But that also includes body, because it really means Shen, E, Qi, and Jin, or force, or Li, the powers of the body. They must become harmonized, which means unified. Okay? They function as one. They work together. So training to develop this balance and harmony is what Tai Chi Chuan is all about. That's it. So, the key point of it being an internal art is me it means that we're about the chi, developing the chi. How does the chi function in a specific way where it maintains balance and harmony? There are other ways to develop the chi, right? There are other ways to develop power. There are many ways to deliver power. All internal arts develop ways to deliver chi and or power. However, when they do it, they sacrifice Zhong Ding. They do not maintain Zhong Ding. What is unique about Tai Chi Chuan is that Zhong Ding is the mainstay, it is the center of the art, and even when you're developing and delivering power, whether it's Qi or Jin, you maintain Zhong Ding at the same time.
Now this is different to any other art. Other internal arts which also produce jin, they sacrifice Zhong Ding at the moment of producing the jin or delivering the jin. So this is the unique quality of Tai Chi Chuan. That's why it's about balance and harmony. Okay? Now in order to balance our body, which doesn't mean being balanced like a surfer okay, or an acrobat. It means balance between yin and yang, which gives you that kind of balance. You have to separate yin and yang. So that one goes there and one goes there and you have a dividing line between the two called Jong Ding. Now the line is not physical. Okay? So if you can't separate them, you cannot balance them. Does that make sense? The, and these things are real, they're tangible, they're physical. So the physicality has to be separated. What that means is opened. You have to take one part of the body and take it off the part next to it. And so on and so on and so on. Until your machine is cleaned up and separated. We take every component of the machine and we take it apart totally. And we polish every component of the machine. And then you put it back together in a way that it functions in perfect balance. If any parts of the machine are rusted together, the machine will not function in balance. So this is just talking about the physical part. Yep. It's extremely important to separate or open the physical body. I'll talk about it more later and why it's so important for developing the chi. But if you do not separate and open the physical body, you can access the chi, but you cannot develop the chi. You can access the chi, but you cannot sink the chi. You can access the chi, but you cannot mobilize the chi. Right? If you can't mobilize the chi, you can't make the powers. So this correcting of the body, opening the body, transforming the body is the most important part of the training. And all of the training from the beginning all the way up to the end is one of transformation, of changing you what you are, not just who you are, what you are, certainly not just what you do. It's changing your animal into something new, okay? which I like to talk, call the Tai Chi creature. It is this creature that is in Zhong Ding, that is in balance of yin and yang, and functions with harmony of Shen Yi Qi.